Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is X Mafia, and today what I have for you is some tips and tricks in certain maps on Fall Guys, maybe help you out with coming first in a race, or even win, actually. So, this video will be sort short and sweet, so forget the intro, and let's get straight into it. So, Gate Crash is probably one of the most often occurring game modes, and it's pretty easy to throughout the whole way through, but the part that gets everyone is the end bit with the slime, but it's actually really easy to predict which one you can go through. Once you know how to get in every time, it's basically an instant qualification, because that many people can't do the jump properly, so even if you're last, you still are fine, basically, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you're last, don't worry, don't sweat it if you know how to do this. What you need to do is, when you're about to hit the slime and start sliding down, aim for the one that is going up. By the time you get to the end of the slime, it will be fully down and really easy to jump into. It seems like the right thing to do, but so many people still mess up. Seesaw is one that is probably complained about the most, apart from Slime Climb, which is probably my favourite game mode, but that's off topic. The reason it's hated so much is because there is a lot of people. If everyone just understood basic physics, it wouldn't be it, it would be so much easier, but you can't expect that from everybody. The key to securing a place in the next round is just being patient. See a lot of people jumping as quick as they can because they want to make it, but just waiting that extra time to get it just right so you won't fall is necessary if you want to have a good time. It's like they say, slow and steady wins the race. The Whirly Geek is a fun one, and trying to go through the big propeller to see if you can make it through is actually pretty exciting, but I know a way to get through it every single time. Now it may seem impossible, but it's actually extremely easy to pull off. Doing this can grant you an easy first place almost every time. Like, easy. Like, I've gone through it a few times and I've gotten so many first places on the world gig, it's insane. And it may seem impossible, but it's actually extremely easy to pull off. How do you do this? Literally just walk to the far left side and go through. I don't know, it's so difficult, but it really is that easy to just watch. This one's a bit of a short one, but DoorDash is just another one of my favorites, and there's not really any crazy tips to it, uh, but the only real thing that I can think of is just to stay back. Not all the way back, but just a little bit. Not like, not all the way, all the way back, just a little bit, okay? So, let everyone else do the heavy lifting so you don't get stuck by guessing the wrong door, and just stay a little bit behind them, so if you follow them, and they stuff up, you can quickly change back and go to another one. And especially on the late ones, it gets real hard to recover from something like that. So just do that and you should be fine. Hexagon is my favorite final by a long shot and probably a lot of everyone else's favorite too, let's be honest. This one can be a bit of RNG or luck, if you don't know what that is, but definitely not as bad as other ones. There's a technique going around that is sure to make you last 10 times longer, maybe not 10 times longer, obviously, but like, last a lot longer than usual, and it's pretty simple. Instead of running around like a maniac, jump on one, then wait a second, jump on the next one, and keep doing this, and you will have a much higher chance to get that crown than before. It may sound difficult if you haven't seen or tried it before, but it's extremely simple to do. Just by the gameplay that I recorded, you can see how effective this works to keep you up Hop and get everyone to drop down and that's all for today i hope you enjoyed this video and all found it helpful if you want me to make a part two i sure can compile a few more tricks and make that so comment something about it if you would like that thank you for watching and if you haven't already make sure to leave a like subscribe if you're new and i'll see you all in another video see ya